taking a look at the PowerRamp VH hydraulic style dock leveler that's incorporated with a seven inch barrier lip along with our KS6 power hook trailer restraint. To operate the unit is going to be a single push button activation. When I hit the uh, raise button, the leveler will uh, start to raise. When it reaches its highest point, the leveler's lip kicks out and then the dock operator will take its finger off the button and then the dock leveler will slowly descend into the bed of the trailer, which is represented by this right here. Once the leveler's lip is rested into the bed of the trailer, now the forklift can go in and out in a nice smooth fashion. I'm going to raise up the unit and put it into its lockout and tagout uh, situation. Anytime that you're doing any type of maintenance or, any, or taking a look at anything underneath the dock leveler, you want to make sure that you uh, engage that lockout tagout and make sure you lock it out into position. This hydraulic VH board is going to be a 7 foot wide, 8 foot long, 45,000 pound capacity board which means that underneath the deck you're going to see structural C channels along with structural I beams. The power ramp dock leveler boards like to utilize as much steel in our boards as possible. The more steel that you put in a dock leveler, the longer the life and the, the stronger the board will uh, the stronger the board will overall be. When you are welding together like thickness metals, you're able to get a good weld penetration by having the structured C channels and I beams underneath the deck to weld those beams to the deck. You're able to get a real thick weld penetration, which then in turn prevents pop welds or any uh, other types of warping that might happen uh, due to the, the use of the leveler. Also to extend the life of the dock board, we utilize a four sided box construction. So underneath our header, there's going to be a flat plate going all the way across the, the front along with the rear and then the two side beams forming a nice, strong, structured unit. The easiest way to lower the cost of a dock leveler is to reduce the steel. Power ramp does not like to do that because the end game is also is always to extend the life of the board. So we'll have a four sided box construction along with the rear uprights, the three by three angle rear uprights. And uh, on a seven by eight unit, you're going to see five of them placed in the back right there. The deck is held up by three nine inch pins for a total rear hinge support of 27 inches. After all, uh, looking through all that structure, we can move on to the hydraulic unit. The VH is a fully hydraulic unit, which means that the hydraulics hoist cylinder lifts up the deck of the board. Once that deck reaches its highest point, the hydraulic fluid goes to the lip cylinder and then the lip cylinder kicks out and extends the lip. The VH utilizes the fluid logic block, which incorporates a mechanical way to divert that hydraulic fluid from the hydraulic hoist cylinder to the lip cylinder, which allows us to have a low pressure uh, fully hydraulic system uh, with 325 maximum PSI. The VH being incorporated with any of our hydraulic trailer restraints is able to have a, com a combined pump and motor, which means that we would have one hydraulic uh, pump and motor for both of those systems utilizing just the one and not having to have two separate ones, one for the hydraulic uh, leveler and one for the hydraulic trailer restraint. The VH dock leveler, when the hoists are after the lip is fully extended and is resting into the bed of the trailer, we utilize a retractable lip cylinder. That retractable lip cylinder is, is there to extend the life of the cylinder that when the lip is in the bed of the trailer, it pulls back and then removes all contact from the lip itself and stores safely behind the header, which in, in turn uh, extends the length of the board. When the leveler is, it, leveler's lip is in the back of the trailer and a forklift is going in and out that could jar and shake and um, and could possibly harm the lip cylinder, and that is why we retract it and hide it safely. To store the leveler, 
you would just need to uh, unhook the, the safety prop and then it's going to be a single push button again. Uh, and then what you would want to do is have that leveler's lip rest safely into the to the saddles of the, the lip keepers. The Power Ramp VH dock leveler can uh, utilize many different options. We can add brush weather seal, larger dock bumpers. We can add electronical or, or electric uh, buttons where we can do an, uh, an e-stop, lip out, and then also add overhead door buttons. Or we can also combine in a nice IDOC combo control panel where we can operate the leveler, trailer restraint, overhead door, and have it in a nice sequence of operation.